I thought about how cool it would be to have scientists and, and architects and the explorers of today all in one place together with access to a level of technology which has never been really accessible before to these these uh, these people. So in a nutshell, bringing together all these scientists and all these professionals, what is it exactly that you aim to achieve? Yeah, so the purpose of the 300, and that, that's a fantastic question, is really rooted in the need to end global warming. You know, so we want to ring the climate alarm on a global scale and inspire the largest and greatest collaborative climate action effort in history, where everybody wakes up and realizes, you know, that we need to make a difference, you know. So the vessel has been built as an extreme technology platform, you know, with frontier technologies like AI, robotics and quantum, you know, and to be able to pioneer catalytic blockbuster solutions to address the world's most pressing problems, which are really all related to climate change, right? Okay, uh, it's a massive project. Who is involved with you? Yeah, so look, we've been incredibly blessed, uh, Ross, to be able to uh, collect and attract an incredible cadre of individuals along the way. You know, I mean, we've got IBM as our technology partners and we're working with them on different streams. We have an MOU signed with them and we're developing those different things. Uh, we have a gentleman called Martin Yates, who's the chief technology officer for one of the largest and leading uh, multinational technology corporates in the world. He has a global mandate for smart cities, so he's helping us to build this vessel as a smart city. You know, it will come with no less than a million sensors, 100,000 cameras. I mean, this will be super advanced. So we have a really big pot of different uh, people coming from different walks of life that are reaching out to us. And again, this is becoming really big now. So it's a really exciting time for us. Okay, so you seem to have assembled a, a very impressive team, but how is this project going to be funded? I mean, it's $900 million. How, how do you fund something so big? The initial money will be private investments. Um, and we're also in touch with a, a couple of large uh, globally known uh, branded groups. Um, and then the rest comes from bank, banking instruments, you know, the usual. And when will building actually begin? Are you still on track for your 2025 launch date? Yeah, so essentially we've completed the preliminary naval engineering, uh, the feasibility stage, which means that, you know, uh, the, the, the structural elements have been designed and it means that the shape that we envisage can, can work. So there's a lot of new technologies that we're going to be adapting and applying. So, but that's the timeline. I mean, late 2025 is when it should be ready. The project is um, also, I've read, um, to attract rich people to have their holidays there and thereby contribute to the project itself. So how do you reach across the social divide to help educate across the globe? One, only 5% of the people on board will actually be the wealthy. The other people will come on board and they will not have to pay anything at all. Um, and then at the same time, we're also democratizing the science, you know, by building the vessel as a, as a floating computer, which will have a, a cutting edge media platform. So, you know, again, Martin Yates, our, uh, the CTO who's advising us on technology, he says, Aaron, this has to be a vessel that is able to carry a billion passengers virtually, right? So everybody can zoom in. So we'll have a, a total of 100,000 100, cameras on board. And so we democratize the experience. And remember also, that Ross, that this will be a vessel that will visit every port possible. So as it visits port, people will be able to come on board for a tour. This is going to be a nuclear powered vessel, isn't it? Um, do you think people might have some safety concerns? And, and if you could just talk to us a little bit about, you know, the safety aspect of this uh, vessel. Firstly, this nuclear technology that we are adopting is advanced atomic energy. It's a dramatic departure from traditional energy. The important thing is that we will be a zero emission ship. So that means that we can use nuclear energy on land to create green synthetic fuels which go on the vessel and you have zero emissions. So for us, the nuclear deal is not a concern at all. And finally, tell us something about your memories of Gibraltar. You left when you were 22. Was there something about the rock that inspired you to become the entrepreneur that you have become? I mean, look, Gibraltar was a very small place. And I think the fact that it was small and I didn't feel like I... I you know, I could do what I really wanted to do there, push me to leave, you know, and, and kind of that brought me to Singapore and it opened up the world. But um, so my next trip planned is actually in Monaco. We have an event planned in, in late September in Monaco. And when I come to Monaco, definitely I'll, I'll come down to Gibraltar. Uh, and I look forward to, to meeting you in person. 